Hello, everyone. This is Lindsay Baker with the Action Hour. I am here with a wonderful, amazing guest today, Duncan McNair. He is a prominent lawyer in London and the CEO of Save the Asian Elephants. And he believes that by driving up public awareness of the horrors of the Asian elephant and by forceful advocacy, this highly regarded organization um, holds the travel in industry to account and urges real change upon government and lawmakers for this iconic yet endangered species. Duncan, I must bring you on here, Duncan. Well, Hello, Duncan. Lovely. Thanks for joining me today. Oh, I'm so Thank pleased you to have me. you here and so devastated. I don't think there's any other story to date and all of them are heartbreaking. That was, gave me nightmares the way this one did. Mm. I think that's true for millions of people. You know, the Asian elephant is an iconic uh, species in literature and culture and is recognized by pretty much anyone in the world, young or old, and yet it suffers the most utter extreme abuse, uh, which is contributing so heavily towards its march ever closer to final extinction. It's a tragedy that is wholly avoidable. Let's watch the uh, interview. You Duncan, did. you founded Save the Asian Elephant, or it's better known as Stay, isn't yes, it? Yes. About five years ago? Yeah, yeah that's right, in February 2015. And it came about, Megan, because I had just, in fact, finished a, a year-long project for the RSPCA, and I was so interested to look for another animal cause that I could perhaps help with. And people started telling me about the really terrible, unbelievable plight of Asian elephants. Duncan, I've heard about the horrors of the Pajan, but what, what exactly does it entail for these elephants? Well, Pajan means the breaking of the spirits, and it's really the most brutal of any animal um, horrors I've ever heard. Um, the baby is snatched from the wild, and it is isolated, starved and dehydrated, and then it is put in a cage and stabbed, ripped, beaten with planks and so on to break its spirit. It's, when I saw that, I just couldn't believe it. Lee, Duncan, tell, tell us about this situation here. It's just unbelievable. Well, it, it is horrific and it's unnecessary and it's relatively new. Um, elephants, of course, have been engaged by man for work and for war for hundreds, in fact, thousands of years. But they've been, they are highly, highly intelligent. They have extraordinary cognitive abilities. They can learn by gentle means. Um, this horror of Bajan is a recent phenomenon, more or less of the last 50 or 60 years, simultaneous with the explosion of package holidays around the world. And I gave uh, a, a summary of the horrors involved um, in Bajan, um, the purpose of which is to break the resolve and the spirit of the baby elephant so that it gives up and it is readily, easily used for all sorts of unnatural activities, for human entertainment, nothing more than that. And yet it's unnecessary, it's brutal, and indeed the tasks to which the elephant is then put in captivity are not ones that should inspire interest in anyone. Elephants are the most wondrous creatures and best seen in their natural state, exhibiting natural behavior uh, in a herd, mother and baby and um, adults and aunts and grandparents, because the entire herd comprises often three or four generations, and they are quite fascinating to watch. And we may go on to discuss what we, what we at Save the Asian Elephants regard as the way forward, genuine sanctuaries that already exist all over Southeast Asia, but they yeah. are dwarfed by brutal tourism uh, and the practice of pajan. Yes, and we will go into that. Let's watch the second half of this interview. The stay stands for anything. It's to steer the market towards ethical, away from the brutal, thoughtless, unethical, where sadly UK companies and others have been making big money over the years, but to ethical, where they still make big money, just the same levels of profit, but where the elephants are protected 
Because I was surprised to learn that in the UK, it's us that is driving this horrible market. Absolutely. Um, remember that the uh, over 11% of what are called foreign tourist arrivals in India and in the other range states, but let's take India, um, <clears throat> are from the UK. So, Duncan, what can people do at home? Well, there's a great deal, but one key thing is to write to your MP and explain to them that you look to them to back Stay's call for a new law to ban the advertising or sale of these unethical Asian elephant related holidays. So it's really simple then to help the plight of these incredible Asian elephants. If you're going on a holiday to Asia, research where you're going, only invest in ethical elephant tourism and also email your MPs. The email's are already written for you. It takes two seconds. Why not go and do it? And hopefully we can save these incredible animals. And of course, that is all available on your website, um, which is stae.org. It will be in the links. It will be placed there. We're, we're hoping that we have someone placing it now, but we will mm -hmm. be putting that in the links. And as well, you can sign a petition, which we're going to talk about in a moment. Now, this has not only been a danger for and horrific, uh, terrible torture and treatment to these beautiful babies, like you told me, they were just me, they're up to your knee. But also human beings have been hurt. And this is another point that the, the I understand that the tourism uh, industry does not want brought out. Let's just watch this other clip from your movie and then I'd like you to talk about your movie as well. Every year, thousands of people visit Nong Nuch Village Park for elephant displays. Teens of handlers torture and beat both babies and adults daily. So it's tusk went into me. Yeah. Um, it's right tusk. The, the, the trunk threw Andrea back onto the concrete. It then pulled its head back in and re then repeatedly attacked. We got to the hospital, we think roughly around 4 p.m. Um, and she died on the operating table around half past eight that night. That's good. Wow. Let me just bring you back on. Oops. My guest has uh, gone off for a moment. Uh, apparently, he's having some trouble uh, with on his end with the broadcast. I'm going to see if he can come back in in a moment. But in the meantime, I'm going to show another clip. Now, um, Duncan is uh, an attorney and he is working with the uh, British government. He has been able to get many things passed. And we're going to have him talk all about that. But let's just watch while we're waiting. I just want you to see um, just some of the pictures here of what actually goes on with Pajon. Now, this is a picture, as it says here, of a young elephant awaiting Pajon, meaning it is going to be systematically tortured over time to break its spirit. And this is an activity that has been going on, he, uh, Duncan says, for not as long, this is not something that has gone on through history, but in most recent years because of the travel industry. Um, if, like I said, if he does not come back on in the next moment or two, I am going to go off and reconnect with him. Um, so what you people can do while we're waiting, and I'll show this again later, you can go to, um, he's coming back in now. So there he is. Duncan, I just kept it going and was talking a little bit about, about to get to where people can sign the petition. I did explain a little bit about Pajan, but you're going to go into much more detail for us here. Um, actually, you can jump in right now. Um, let's go ahead and go through, I'll start with this slide. And maybe you want to just go through some of the stats about endangerment and so far. forth. Are you with us? I'm not hearing you, Duncan. Duncan, are you with us? Your mic is off. Perhaps try going off and coming on. Duncan, your mic's not connected. We're going to have to, uh, oh gosh. Well, I'm going to give you a moment to do that. I'm going to go ahead and go to another movie and see if you can get your mic connected here. Um, 
So Duncan will come up and talk about that. Uh, I would like to show you, this is unbelievable, this picture. You have to see this. So this hook here, Duncan, are you with me? See the hook? This is connected to a stick. And this is what they use to beat them systematically. They also, I've seen in other videos, the shackles that they wear on their feet. So the shackles they wear on their feet here, I know I have a picture of it. Uh, they have hooks in them. So the things that are around their feet are hooks. Duncan, are you here? Uh, we're still not hearing you. Unable to hear you, Duncan. 